Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA Web TV, and we are standing on the sidelines of the ELA Berlin Air and Space Show, and we just witnessed the launch of the Sentinel 3B satellite from Plitsk in northern Russia. And with me is Josef Ashbacher from ESA and Philippe Brunet from the European Commission. Now, Joseph, with the launch of Sentinel 3B, what does this mean for ESA? This means a huge success because uh, the first set of satellites is now being launched. Uh, we are working uh, together with the European Commission. We are their trusted partner in putting the space component together. For us it's a huge relief because we have delivered and we have handed over one more satellite to the European Commission. And I'm very happy to say that so far it looks all very good. It does look good. And Philippe, what does this mean for the European Commission? I think it's uh, very important because Copernicus is a success and it cannot be a success without a perfect uh, special uh, infrastructure and the Sentinels have been this infrastructure that we were needed and as uh, just Joseph said with Sentinel 3B we complete the first batch of the Sentinel uh, to be launched within a uh, little bit less than uh, five years and I think it's very good because we have been on time, on schedule, and for the time being at least, with perfect success. That's wonderful. Now, what does the future hold for ESA within the Copernicus program? Uh, today, already, we have the best Earth-observing system in the world with Copernicus. And the future, we will do exactly the same. We will continue to provide the best satellites uh, in the world uh, for the European Commission, together with the European Commission, and make sure that the users are getting the data they need uh, and making sure that we, as ESA, the European Space Agency, uh, use the best technology which we have in Europe uh, in order to provide the best satellites uh, for Copernicus. And Philippe, what about the European Commission? What are the next steps for Copernicus? I have to first say that uh all the Copernicus has been, program has been possible with a good collaboration with ESA. And uh, we plan new mission in the future. And for this new mission, of course, we count of the sustained collaboration uh, with ESA. Uh, I would like also to stress that uh, started as a space program. Now it's a program which developed a lot of uh, technological uh, innovation but also which is uh, yielding economic uh, results. And for the European Commission, is by far one of the most successful programs. Well, Philippe, Joseph, thank you so much and congratulations to both of you on a successful launch. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about space or about our planet, visit our website, www.esa.int.